Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurasu here, coming at you with some more OTS 13 news. We got all the ultis revealed, all the hollows. I did get spoiled on one more ulti, but most of this is brand new. So I'm just going to get right into it. Also, if you can leave a like and subscribe, that would be wonderful before the video starts. And let me know what your favorite ulti is out of OTS 13. I'll tell you mine once we done look at the ulti. So, ulti Book of Moon we already knew, and this is going to look very, very nice, personally. Um, this should have happened a while ago, I do believe. Uh, I know that's a majority opinion, but hey, at least we get it eventually. I do like when they put these older cards into OTS, like Scapegoat. Tsukiyomi was Astro Pack 1, but you get the point. Abyss Dweller. Now, I got spoiled on this, but it's about time. Honestly, I never, I don't think it would have ever happened. However, I guess they listened to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community on this one and actually gave us an ulti Abyss Dweller. And that's pretty awesome, because... Man, I've been wanting this for a long time. I just thought it would never happen. And then the last ulti is Trap Tricks Ralphasia. See, I don't... See, I feel like Konami gets its teeth into one or two archetypes at a time. Like, in Zexal era, it was like Noble Knights, you know, and then Sword of Prophecy. And then you could just see it going on there, like Unchained. And they really like to boost one specific archetype. Like, sometimes it's, like, all good, right? And sometimes it's just trash. Like, I really love the original Secret Rare of this. I actually have them from Bosch because I actually love playing Trap Tricks. Because the artwork's just beautiful. Like, it pops. It looks really good. Especially the Euro print, which I have one of those. It just pops all the colors. It's fantastic. As an ulti, I don't know if it would look that good along with... Who would really be playing it except a few Trap Tricks players? And if you're playing Trap Tricks, I'm not trying to be rude here... You, you're going to want to look at, you're usually a low, maybe not a low rarity player, but you might not play meta as often. There's a good chance that you fall in that category. So, you might not want to put as much money into the game, and since you already have your old phases, why would you get ultis? Yeah, they look nice, but still, ah, I don't like this. I mean, I, I'm glad I, I get to high rarity my trap tricks a bit more, but you know, I don't know. So we knew about Scrap Gold. This got bought out actually in one of my first market watches. And I was like, why? We're getting as a super. I think this is a great pick. Same with Where Art Thou. I mean, honestly, it's played once in a blue moon. And if you guys just are wondering and Google searching what the cards are, if they're a little maybe not known, I'm going to go over them. So, yeah, Where Art Thou. This was played in Spiral. This was played in a few other decks. And it's cool. It, it really is cool that this finally getting a super rare. It's long overdue. It's got printed three times as a common. Very happy to see this. Then we have the generator token. Do we know how this looks? Wow, that looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, I also do like this because I feel like the tokens have really fallen off recently. But generators being a deck that has a little bit of medic success along with... A lot of players love playing it. It ha Boom, it has. It's not like Trickstar tokens where most Trickstar players don't use the, you know, the field spawn that generates tokens. So... Very happy to see that. And then let's see what else we have. We have Deep Sea Diva as a super rare. So this was an ultra rare at DOSA. I guess they're trying to promote their Deep Sea archetype, but this is just a waste. I mean, maybe they, I guess people with their turbo pack might feel a little salty, but I don't really see why. why. Spiral Gear Drone as a super rare. They put this to three. I called that this was going to be the super rare because nothing else would make sense. Like, spirals, they usually have a lot of high rarity stuff already. Uh, so I was wondering, hmm, what are they going to do? And then they put drones back to three. And drones is one of the only usable... Drones is a great card, by the way. But one of the only uh, cards that spiral consistently uses that isn't hollow. So then we have ABZ Dragon Buster. I want to admit, yeah, the fa is this, I, I know this is the fusion, but I need to make sure, because this is the stupidest thing if they made this. Like, th this is, man, feels bad to be an ABC player. This is literally going to be 10 cents off the gate. Literally, this card, you could get a beautiful secret rare for like a $2. If it's different, let me know, right? Because this is limited, because they didn't want people to have fun in Master Rule 5 with this card in Union Carrier, and... Like, maybe they'll put it back to 3, but because they heard the outcry. And we are technically getting a ban list in 15, 16 days. Or we could. But, why? Like, why? This is so dumb. This is literally an insult to injury. Honestly, I hope this is a sign that they're putting it back to 3. Because if they just threw this in here, this is the worst OTS 
probably the second or third worst OTS super I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Wow. This is the uh, ultimate Vulcan. This is the Synchro, right? I mean, I don't know how this... I don't think this was hard to access, so I don't really know why. Clearwing Synchro Dragon. I mean, dual... I think Dual Power had these. Yeah, Dual Power had these for like $3. You could get an Ultra. Why? Wow, so we have really bad picks here. Junk Speeder. Is this a promo? Like, um, I mean, you can see the disgust on my face. This is literally a dollar or two and the secret. <sighs> Man, they they really this these supers suck. Like we were we were actually on a good good streak, you know, where our thou used once in a while, finally gets a hollow print. Sure, that that's cool. Scrap golem, very much needed, great. Generated token, we always have to get a token, which I don't like. I just wish I don't mind getting tokens, I don't mind getting a generator token. It's just I don't think that Konami uh, thinks that they should be obligated to make a token every OTS pack, because sometimes it's just it not needed. Uh, with generators, though, however it is, especially because you're going to need multiple of these, I think this is a, probably one of their better picks. But once you get to here, you got three good supers, right? Uh, you know, nothing groundbreaking besides probably Scrap Golem, right? Then it gets like, Drones is okay, but people are really playing Spirals right now anyway, it's way too late. So this is really on the lower end anyway, but like, you know, whatever. But the rest of this, and yeah, I know we have Bahamut Shark as a super. That's cool, but like, I mean, okay, I guess, I guess that's fine. I know they were a bit of money, and I don't like the gold rare. I do have gold rares. Uh, so, who's disappointed in this OTS pack? Like, except for. What is your biggest disappointment in uh, TS13? I want to know that in the comment section below, as well as your favorite ulti. My biggest disappointment is ABC Dragon Buster being a super rare. <laughs> Just a lot of the super rares in general. Like, we still have more to go, but like, it's going to be quite difficult to redeem the super slots, I believe. Because, you know, plus Scrap Golem, while that's a great reprint, you're only going to need one of these as well. So, it's only good for the first time you pull it. Possibly, maybe the second. Possibly, but probably not. But, if you go to Locals, and we're going to have OTS 13 for a while, what's the point of this? It's like... Well, with that being said, guys, I leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.